Hello everyone and welcome to this evening's game between the McNeil Mavericks and San Antonio Reagan Rattlers. We are just getting ready to get started here. Game is out here at Rouse Field. The Mavericks have uh, are the home team. Starting defense here is first base Jackson Collins. Second base, Ryan Bosick. Shortstop, Sam Kubaney. Third base, Caleb Mendoza. In left field, Ryan Morin. Center field, Chris Winnesman. And in right field, James Morio. Garrett Banks is your catcher. And starting pitcher for the Mavericks today is Caleb Crail. So I'm getting ready to, for the first pitch, of the game here, top of the first, leadoff batter for San Antonio Reagan, the second baseman, number one, Bertram. And here comes the first pitch. Swung on, grounded to shortstop, takes a big kick off the glove of the second baseman, Kubani. And the leadoff runner is aboard. Brings up the number two hitter, the shortstop, and Left-handed hitter, number 10, Tabor, for San Antonio Reagan. Tabor shows bunt. Commits but misses, so strike one. Creel throws over to first, check the runner, who is back safely. Pretty nice day out here. Sun just peeked through, but went back behind the clouds. Quite a bit of wind once again. Next pitch is a bunt, laid down, fielded by the pitcher Creel. He's going to throw to first in time to get the batter. And the runner on first, Bertram, advances to second on the sacrifice. So one out brings up the number three hitter for San Antonio, the third baseman, number two, Ankrum. First pitch to Ankrum, a fastball catches the outside corner for called strike one. Next pitch swung on and missed, strike two. Next pitch swung in and missed on a fastball high up in the zone. So three pitches, three strikes. And that's two outs now. First strikeout of the day for the pitcher Crail. Brings up number four hitter, the designated hitter, number 25, Heller. Bertram, the leadoff batter, still at second base. First pitch misses outside for ball one. Another fastball misses a little high and outside, so count as two no now. Shortstop Kubani working the runner at second. Three zero count now on the designated hitter Heller. Next pitch is in there for a called strike one. Here comes the 3-1 pitch. Swung on, 
lofted into center field. Windersman on his horse coming in, gets down in front of him safely for a base hit, and he's going to run all the way to second on that, and the runner from second will score. So a two-out two out double with an RBI brings, uh, brings one run in for San Antonio. Next batter is the center fielder, number seven, Moore. First pitch breaking ball just misses low and outside. Wind is blowing sharply towards the left field side. So any balls lofted in the air are going to be very interesting for anyone on the defense to, to track down and catch as that wind just going to blow it around. Next pitch was a called strike, so count is one and one now to Moore. Fouls the next pitch off out of play to the right side. So one two count now to the designated, or sorry, to the center fielder Moore. Designated hitter Heller still standing on second base. Swings the next pitch. Lost a slow rolling ground ball to shortstop. Cabaney picks it up. Fakes a throw to first base. But that will be an infield single that just got a lot of spin on it and was right off the hands of the batter there. Kind of into no man's land. So an infield single for Moore advances the runner on second, Heller to third. So it's first and third now with two outs. And that brings up the left fielder, number 24, Coleman for Reagan. See if San Antonio goes with a little bit of a bunt situation here. Does not show bunt. Looks at the first pitch. It called strike. Pitch is swung on, popped up into foul territory. The catcher Banks is, is on it and makes the play for the third out of the inning. So a couple of hits. Brings one run across for Reagan here in the top of the first. The score is 1-0. Mavericks coming up for their first at-bats. We'll be right back. off for the Mavericks here in the bottom of the first left fielder Ryan Morin. He'll be followed by second baseman Ryan Vosick and the center fielder Chris Windisman. Your pitcher for San Antonio Reagan, number 28, Greer. Morin takes a 
cut it the first pitch he sees and fouls it off. One pitch is a fastball that misses outside low. So one ball and one strike to Marin. Third baseman playing fairly shallow on the grass, close to the grass. Next pitch is a called strike. Fastball. So one ball and two strikes to Morin. Big swing and a miss on the next pitch for strike three. One away for the Mavericks here in the first. He's a Brian Vosick. Number nine. He swings the first pitch and fouls it, out of fouls it off out of play to the right side. Next pitch misses low and in the dirt on the inside. Near Voxic's shoes, so one on one count. Pitch another fastball that misses low and outside. So two balls and one strike to Vosik. Pitcher working with some quick tempo here. Vosik swings to the next pitch that was really up high in the kitchen there. Fouls it sharply down the third base side, rolls all the way to the fence. It's a 2 2 count now. Are looking for some reinforcement baseballs. Comes a 2 2 pick to Bob, pitch to Vosick. Swing and a line drive gets down just outside of the in infield into center field for a base hit. Neil has their first base runner here in the bottom of the first. He brings up the center fielder, Chris Windesman. Number three batter for McNeil. Pitcher makes a quick pickoff throw over to first base. Bosick comes up safely. Next pitch is swung on and grounded. Hard ground ball right up the middle for another base hit. Center fielder kind of bobbles the ball coming up with it, but not enough for anyone to advance. So two straight singles for the Mavericks. Brings up the first baseman and number four hitter, Jackson Collins. Collins looks at the first pitch, fastball in there for a called strike one. Next pitch is swung on, grounded to the third baseman. Makes a good play, picks it up, and just takes the unassisted force out of third base. So Vasek is forced out, advancing to third base. And with two outs and runners still on first and second, that brings up the catcher, Garrett Banks. Swings at the first pitch and fouls it back to the screen. Pitch breaking ball misses a little bit high. First breaking ball we've seen here this this inning from the pitcher Greer. So 1-1 one, one count to Banks. Next pitch fastball swung on, fouled back into the screen again. 
So we kind of go one ball and two strikes. Two outs. Winnisman, the runner at second. Collins, the runner at first. Right, here comes the one-two pitch to Banks. Breaking ball, swung on and missed for strike three, and that will end the inning. A couple of hits for the Mavs. Score still 1-0, San Antonio Reagan. We head to the top of the second. We'll be right back. Top of the second inning, leading off for San Antonio Reagan, the right fielder, number 11, Beard. Seven, eight, nine batters for uh, Reagan this inning. First pitch to Beard is a breaking ball, low and in the dirt outside for ball one. Looks like the next pitch, fastball in there for called strike. Next pitch is swung on, lofted into deep left field, but the left field the Ryan Morin makes an amazing catch over his, an overhead catch over his left shoulder for the first out of the inning. Catch out there. That was a hard hit ball, and then with the wind blowing towards that side, I'm sure there was a lot of movement going on. So, with one out, that brings up the catcher, number 21, Ermis, for San Antonio Reagan. Ermis looks at a first pitch breaking ball in there for a called strike on the outside corner. Next pitch misses high and outside. It's a one-on-one -on -one count. Another breaking ball outside and in the dirt. So two and one. Lights have just come on out here at Rouse Field. Next pitch fastball misses a little bit off the plate outside. So three and one count now to the number eight hitter, Ermis. Next pitch swung on, grounded right to the third baseman Mendoza. Takes his time, makes a throw over to first base. 
a little bit high, but Collins, the first baseman, makes a good grab bringing it in. So that'll be the second out of the inning. Brings up the nine hole hitter for San Antonio Reagan, the first baseman, number 13, Herrera. First pitch to Herrera, breaking ball just misses a little bit inside and low. Ball one. Next pitch, fastball catches the outside corner for a cold strike. Another breaking ball misses a little outside and low. So two balls or one strike to Herrera. Herrera heads down to talk to the San Antonio Reagan third base coach. Two outs here at the top of the second. Scores Reagan one, McNeil zero. Here comes the 2 1 pitch. Fastball misses outside, so count goes to 3 and 1. Two hits apiece so far for both teams. Herrera looks at a 3 1 strike right over the middle of the plate. So full count. Three-two pitch is a ball low and in the dirt. So Herrera heads down with a two-out walk. And that brings us to the top of the San Antonio Reagan lineup. Back to the leadoff batter, the second baseman, Bertram. Was safe on a error in his first at bat. First pitch to Bertram is a fastball, misses high and outside. Runner fakes a steal, but heads back to first base. Next pitch was a ball that missed a little high and good. So two balls and no strikes. The fastball misses just a little bit high and outside. So three balls and no strikes. To Bertram. Still two outs. Herrera the runner on first base. 3-0 pitches in there for a called strike. See if Crail can work his way all the way back here. Comes a 3-1 pitch. Runner, runner fakes taking off again. Ball is driven deep into left center field. That's going to get down in the gap. Herrera, the runner from first, is coming around third. He's going to score easily. And Bertram is in with a two-out triple. San Antonio 2 and the number 2 hitter the shortstop Tabor comes up sacrifice bunted a runner over to second base in his first bat in the first inning
first pitch from Crail misses a little high up, high and outside, ball one. Next pitch swung on directly back, hits one of the poles. Both holding up the net. So one on one count to Tabor. Bertram, the runner at third. Next pitch comes a little too far inside and hits the batter Tabor, so he heads down to first base with a hit by pitch. So two outs, runners on first and third now, brings up the Number three hitter, Ankrum, third baseman, struck out in his first appearance. First pitch, Ankrum, fastball misses a little high and outside for ball one. Next pitch. Hit sky high fly ball. Left fielder Morin is underneath it and makes the play for the third out of the inning. So a long sky high fly out ends the inning for Reagan. But Reagan adds another run on a triple, RBI triple by Bertram. So score is San Antonio Reagan two, McNeil Maverick zero. Mavs coming up to bat in the bottom of the second. We'll be right back. Back with the bottom of the second inning for Mavericks. Leading off will be the right fielder, James Mordio. He'll be followed by the shortstop, Sam Kubaney, and then the pitcher, Caleb Crail. First pitch to Mordio, swung on and missed. Strike one. Fouls the next pitch off. Back and out of play. So 0 2 count to the leadoff hitter Morio this inning. Next pitch fastball misses high and outside. Ball one. Comes the 1 2 pitch. Breaking ball misses high and outside as well. So two balls and two strikes to Morio. Two two Mitch, two two pitch, another fastball, misses high and outside again. So count goes from 0-2 to 3-2. And Morio looks at a called third strike for the first out of the inning. So one away brings up the shortstop number two, Sam Kubaney. First at bat for him for the day. Swings the first pitch, grounds it foul down the first base side.
Next pitch to Cabani comes in high and tight on the hands. Misses for ball one. Here comes a one one pitch. Ball low and outside. So two balls and one strike to Cabani. Two one pitch is swung on and fouled directly back into the net. So count will be two and two. Here comes the two two pitch. Swung on and grounded sharply foul towards the Mavericks dugout. Next 2-2 two -two pitch is in there for a called strike three on the outside corner. So two away for the Mavericks here in the bottom of two. Brings up the pitcher, Caleb Crail. First pitch to Crail misses outside for ball one. Next pitch is swung on, lofted in the air over to the right field side, foul. Right fielder for Reagan made a valiant effort to get to it, but the ball is down, so Crail will come back with a 1-1 count. Checks the swing on a high fastball. Reagan appeals down to the first base umpire who says he did not go. So two balls and one strike. Swings and S pitch, lofts a line drive into center field. Center fielder makes a couple steps back though and makes the play. So one, two, three for the Mavericks. No runs, no hits. We go to the top of the third inning. San Antonio Reagan two, Maverick zero. Top of the third inning, leading off for the Rattlers. The number four hitter, designated hitter, Heller, doubled in his first at bat. Looks at a first pitch, nice breaking ball from Crail for called strike one. Next 
next pitch is swung on. Hard ground ball to second base and Vasek fields it easily, makes the play to first in time for the first out of the inning. So one away. Brings up the number five hitter, the center, center fielder Moore. Single in the first inning. First pitch to Moore. Breaking ball misses a little low outside, low and outside. Ball one. And the pitch breaking ball seemed to go around the batter there, but uh, no hit by pitch, so it's ball two. Pitches a fastball, misses high and outside. So three balls and no strikes to the center fielder Moore. Next pitch, fastball, misses outside. So ball four. So Moore is aboard with a one out walk. And the left fielder Coleman comes up. Popped out in foul territory to the catcher Banks in his first at bat in the first inning. Looks at a first pitch, fastball, catches the outside corner, called strike one. Crail throws over to first base to check the runner more. He's hit back safely. Not much of a lead, just keeping him honest. Second pitch, fastball in there for a called strike on the outside part of the plate, so 0-2 count. Crail working ahead on the number six hitter, Coleman. Steps off for a second. O2 pitch. Fastball misses outside north outside. So one and two to Coleman. More the center fielder on first base with a one out walk. More takes off. Pitches fastball high and inside, and they're not going to have enough time to throw down. So Moore is in with a stolen base. And we've got a 2 2 count on the hitter Coleman. Next pitch breaking ball popped up. Shallow, shallow infield, third baseman Mendoza just makes a couple of steps back and makes the play. So with two outs, brings up the right fielder Beard. Flew out to the left fielder Morin in his first at bat today. First pitch breaking ball catches the inside quarter for called strike one. Creel steps off as the runner Moore on second base made a Hard fake attempt to steal a base there. Infielders told him to step off. 
but Moore heads back to second base. Here comes the 0-1 pitch. Swung on, fouled back to the screen. And the pitcher Cray was ahead on the hitter Beard with an 0-2 count. And two outs. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Hunter takes off the third. Pitches a ball. Steals third easily as the ball kind of popped out of Banks. Catcher Banks' glove and hit the dirt. So runner more on third. And a 1 2 count to the hitter, Beard. Next pitch fastball misses just a little bit high and outside. So 2 2 count now. Wind picking up again, blowing out towards left field. And here comes the 2-2 pitch. Swung on, grounded to the shortstop, Kubani. Fields the ball, makes the play, throws over to first. Throw pulls Collins off the bag, though, and is unable to tag the runner heading down to first. So he will be safe at first. It also brings Moore was running on the play with two outs. So he will come across, and the score is now San Antonio Reagan 3. And that brings up the catcher, number 21, Ermis, grounded out to third base in his last at bat. First pitch to Ermis is a fastball, misses outside low. a hard stop again like he was going to steal second. Crail saw it, threw it over to first base, but the ball gets past the first baseman Collins. Looks like we could have had him there, but uh, no harm done. The runner dove back into first base and did not advance. And we're back to a 1-0 count to the hitter, Ermis. Looks at the next pitch, fastball misses a little high and inside. So, two balls and no strikes. Runner takes off from first. Ball is a line drive driven into the left center gap. Oh, the left fielder more and makes a diving play, but it just gets past his glove. Wind has been over to, to grab the ball, throws it into shortstop Kubaney. And the catcher, Ermis, is in with an RBI triple. Left fielder Morin just Superman laid out, tried to get that ball with a diving grab, but it just got over the top of his glove. Assistant coach Zach Weicker comes out to talk to his pitcher Caleb Crail after that. Score is now 4 0 in favor of San Antonio. We do have two outs here in the top of the third inning. Pitcher Crail is going to stay in, and he will face the number nine batter of the first baseman, Herrera, who walked in his first at bat last inning. Courtesy runner number 25. Or sorry, not 25. 22 Allison in for the 
catcher Ellis at third base. First pitch to Herrera, swung on and missed for strike one. Sorry, the Curtis runner is actually number 26 Hall. Hard to tell that second number on the jersey here with all the wind blowing around. Next pitch is a breaking ball fouled off out of play towards the right side. So Crail working ahead, 0-2. two pitch nice pif pitch hits the outside corner for called strike three second strike out of the day for Crail so that will conclude the top of the first inning San Antonio adds two more runs we head to the bottom of three San Antonio four McNeil zero we'll be right back Bottom of third inning. Number nine hitter, third baseman Kayla Mendoza leads off, swings at the first pitch he sees and misses, strike one. It'll be Mendoza, then back to the top of the order with Ryan Morin and then Ryan Vosick. Mendoza swings and misses the next pitch, fastball. So 0 2 count. Fastball misses just outside. So one ball and two strikes to Mendoza. Next pitch swung on a miss by Mendoza for a strike, strike three. Brings us back to the top of the Mavericks order. Left fielder Ryan Morin comes up. First pitch to Morin, fastball misses outside and low, ball one. A one pitch is grounded sharply and oh, foul ball down the third base line. Saw a lot of white chalk kicking up there, but. That, that actually looked good to me. I thought that went over the base and not behind it. Yeah. Right, I thought that was good, but. Umpire thought otherwise. That's a shame, because with more in speed, that was definitely going to be extra bases. Oh, that was absolutely a double. So 1-1 one, one count to Morin. Oh, next pitch is a late call by the umpire, called strike. It's a little low on the outside part of the plate, but... Next pitch is a fastball that catches the outside part of the plate for strike three. It's 
So two outs for the Mavs brings up second baseman Ryan Vosick. Singled in his first at bat. The line drive that got down to the grass in center field. Vosick swings at the first pitch. He sees and fouls it straight back. Pitch by Vosick. Gets just underneath his bat, so count goes to oh, no balls and two strikes. And here comes the 0-2 pitch to Vosick. Swung on, grounded, softly towards second base. Second baseman feels it, makes the throw to first base, and retires the side. So three up, three down for the Mavericks in the bottom of three. Score is still 4-0 San Antonio. We'll be back with the top of the fourth in just a few minutes. Couple of changes for the Mavericks on defense here as we head into the top of the fourth. Jack Goins, number one, comes in to play right field. And our new pitcher is number five, Jacob Ritter, replaces Caleb Crail. And Ritter will start, will face the top of the San Antonio Reagan lineup. First batter this inning, number one. Second baseman, Bertram. Tripled in his last at bat. Looks at the first pitch out of the strike zone for ball one. Next pitch, fastball just misses outside. So 2 0 count to the leadoff hitter Bertram. Next pitch, fastball grooved right down the middle of the plate, strike one. Next pitch swung on, fouled back behind the bleachers and out of play. So two balls and two strikes now to the leadoff hitter Bertram. Comes the 2-2 pitch. Breaking ball lofted into left field or right field. And the new right fielder, Jack Goins, is there and underneath it to make the play. So Ritter retires the first hitter for San Antonio Reagan in the top of the fourth inning. That brings up number two hitter, shortstop Tabor, hit by a pitch in his last at bat in the second inning. <laughs> and. <laughs> 
And hit by another pitch. Seems to have a magnetic personality today because uh, first pitch is <laughs> another hit by pitch. Apparently and we do not like that guy. <laughs> <laughs> so two consecutive hit by pitches. and Looks like that got him on the ankle too. He's limping. Yeah, he's taking a moment to uh, <laughs> wonder what what he scorned us with. <laughs> he looks like he's okay though. So that brings up the number three hitter, the third baseman Ankrum, struck out and flew out to left field in his two at bats today. Swings at the first pitch and grounds it foul down the third base line. And you can see that runner. He's still first. limping. Yeah, he's, he's limping his way back to first. <laughs> Must have caught him right in the bone there. So 0 1 count to Ankrum. Next pitch fastball, and this is a little bit low and outside, ball one. Next pitch, another one grounded sharply foul, almost hits his own third base coach. So the pitcher Ritter working ahead with an 0-2 count here on the number three hitter Ankrum. Next pitch breaking ball misses outside in the dirt. So the count goes to one and two. To board the runner at first base, still there from his previous hit by pitch. Next pitch is swung on, lofted into Left center field, Windesman, center fielder, comes over and makes a nice one-handed grab. That was a great catch by Windesman. The wind's catching the ball and taking it. A lot of range there. A lot of range. Way to track it down. Good route. So the runner first base, Tabor, heads back to first base. Does not advance on that play. And we've got two outs. Brings up the designated hitter, Heller, who doubled in the first inning and then grounded out to second base in the third inning. Swings at the first pitch he sees and laces a ground ball through the hole between third base and shortstop and into left field for a base hit. So two outs, runners on first and second. San Antonio sends their center fielder Moore to the plate. Has a single and a walk on the day. A couple of stolen bases. Swings at the first pitch. Lofts a soft line drive that's down into center field for a base hit. Runner from second, Tabor is going to come all the way around and score. So it'll be an RBI single for more. The score is now San Antonio 5, Maverick 0 here in the top of the fourth inning. Left fielder Coleman, now the batter. He looks at the first pitch, fastball on the outside part of the plate, called strike. Runners still on first and second for San Antonio. Next pitch down in the dirt, gets away from the catcher bank, so the runners will move up to second and third. And the count is one and one to Coleman. Big swing and a miss, the next pitch. So count goes to one and two. So 
One ball, two strikes to Coleman. Runners on second and third, two outs. Next pitch is a nice breaking ball, catches the outside part of the plate for called strike three. So a couple of hits, but only one run of damage there in the top of the fourth inning. We head to the bottom of the fourth, score San Antonio five, McNeil zero. We'll be right back. Mavs coming up to bat here in the bottom of the fourth inning. Leading off will be center fielder Chris Windesman, followed by first baseman Jackson Collins and catcher Garrett Banks. Windesman swings the first pitch he sees. Line drive sharp to second base. Second baseman makes a very good grab, reaching over to his left-hand side and makes the out. Good hard hit ball by Windesman, though. So one away, brings up first baseman Jackson Collins. He swings and drives a good shot out to left field, but pretty much right at the left fielder. So he makes the catch for the second out of the inning. So two away for the Mavericks, brings up the catcher Garrett Banks. First pitch in there for a called strike. Banks looks at the next pitch in there, another called strike. Two pitch fastball misses high and inside ball one. One two pitch is swung on and fouled back behind the screen and uh, the bleachers here. So one ball, two strikes to Banks, two outs, nobody on. Pitcher box, so they're going to give him a ball. Oh, okay. That'll be a 2 2 count then. Next pitch swung on and missed. Or swung on, foul tip, but goes right back into the San Antonio catcher's glove for strike three. So no runs, no hits for the Mavericks that inning. We head to the top of the fifth inning. San Antonio 5, Maverick 0.
Top of the fifth inning, 7-8-9 batters due up for San Antonio Reagan. First pitch to the seven hole hitter, the right fielder Beard. It's a ball low and outside. Beard 0 for 2 today. Swings the next pitch, lines it, and it is in fair all the way down to the corner in left field. And he is in with a leadoff double. Brings up the number eight hitter, the catcher, Ermis. Ermis one for two today with a triple and a ground out to third base. First pitch to Ermis, fastball in there for a called strike. Stop Kubani working the runner at second there. Ritter see that steps off. Runner takes off this from second, and he will be in there with no throw. So stolen base for the runner Beard. Pitch was up high for a ball, so one on one count to the hitter Ermis. Next pitch fastball misses just a little bit away. So two and one count to the hitter Ermis. Next pitch is grounded sharply foul right at the Rattler's third base coach. Two balls, two strikes to Ermis. Big swing and a miss, strike three. Nice fastball came high in, high in the kitchen there. So that strikeout is the second strikeout for Ritter today and the first out of the inning. Brings up the number nine hole hitter, first baseman Herrera. Walked and struck out in his two appearances. Looks at the first pitch, fastball called strike. Big swing and a miss, next pitch, another fastball. So count 0-2 on the hitter Herrera. Nice curveball catches him, swinging strike three. So back to back strikeouts for Ritter. And we're back to the top of the order for San Antonio. Leadoff hitter Bertram. Swings to the first pitch, lines into center field, and the center fielder Windesman comes in a couple of steps and makes the catch to end the inning. So a leadoff double goes nowhere for the San Antonio Rattlers. No runs on one hit. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Score still San Antonio 5, McNeil 0.
Bottom of fifth inning, Mavericks coming up to bat. First hitter, the right fielder Goins. Lays down a bunt. Gets down, and it is a beautiful bunt in no man's land right between third base and the pitcher, and there is no way you're going to catch the speedy Goins on that. So, Goins bunts the first pitch, and he is in at first base with an infield single. And he is going to drive the San Antonio defense nuts on the base pass. Sam Cabani, the shortstop, in the next batter. Looks at the first pitch, fastball high and inside for ball one. Quick throw over there from uh, San Antonio pitch to first base to try to catch Goins. Unsuccessful, he's back safely. Cabani squares around to Bunt. Pulls back, but the pitch is on the outside corner for a called strike. Benny lays down a nice bun right between first oh, base and the yes. pitcher, and the pitcher can't come up with it. So he is safe with an infield single as well. That was a nice bunt by Cabani right down the first baseline. Two nice bunts. Looks like uh, maybe McNeil's showing a little life here. So safe all around, Goins at second, Kubani at first, brings up the pitcher Ritter, who also shows bunt but pulls back. First pitch is over the plate for called strike one. Next pitch is bunted, popped up though to the first baseman, so he catches the bunt in the air. So runners freeze at their bases, and that's one out. That brings up the third baseman, Caleb Mendoza. Who shows bunt right away, but then pulls back for a slash, swings at the, next, swings at the pitch and fouls it back. Third baseman playing right at the tip of the grass. Next pitch is swung on and miss, strike two. Two strikes, the first baseman for San Antonio Reagan steps back to normal depth, as does the third baseman. Mendoza looks at the next pitch is over the plate for called strike three. So two away, we're back to the top of the Mavericks order. Ryan Morin comes up. Umpire calls time. First pitch to Morin is fastball in there for a called strike one. Next pitch, a high inside fastball, swung on, strike two. So, 0 2 count to Morin. Runner still on first and second. Next pitch, fastball misses. A little high and outside. So, one ball and two strikes to Morin. Goins, the leadoff hitter, standing at second. Kubani at first. Here comes the 1 2 pitch. Run. Goins breaks down to third base. Ball is thrown down though and gets into the left field and Goins is going to come home and he will be safe at home. And Kubani advances all the way to third on another bad throw that gets away from the catcher coming in from the outfield. And the Mavericks have their first run of the night. 
One two count to the hitter Morin. Kubani now at third base. Next pitch, fastball in a little high and tight. Ball two. Two two pitch is in on the outside corner for called strike three. So that'll do it for the Mavs in the bottom of the fifth, but they put a runner on the board on some well-executed small ball and taking advantage of situations there. So we head to the top of the sixth score, San Antonio Reagan 5, Mavericks 1. Top of the sixth inning. Two, three, four batters up for San Antonio Reagan. Leading off will be the shortstop, Tabor, who has had two consecutive hit by pitches. First pitch of Tabor is a fastball. Catches the outside corner for strike one. Next pitch is swung on and fouled back out of play. So Ritter working ahead 0-2 quickly with the leadoff batter some more. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Nice breaking ball just gets a piece of it to stay alive. Fouls it straight back in the screen. to pitch high fastball misses so one ball and two strikes to the leadoff hitter Tabor another fastball misses outside so 2-2 two -two count next pitch fastball just misses inside. So count goes full. And here comes a 3-2 pitch. Fastball misses outside for ball four. So leadoff hitter Tabor is on with a walk. Brings up third baseman and number three hitter Ankrum. 0 for 3 today with two flyouts and a strikeout. Pitcher Ritter throws over to first base, check the runner. He's back successfully. First pitch swung on. Shallow fly ball into center field. Windesman is does not make the grab, it kind of gets down. Runner at first was running the entire time on the play, so he will get to third base. And Ankrum is aboard at first with a Texas Leaguer single that just dropped into center field.
So runners on first and third now for San Antonio. Nobody out. Designated hitter Heller up to bat. He swings at the first pitch, lofts a fly ball into shallow left, shallow right field. Right fielder Goins makes a diving play, but bobbles the ball. But the runner from first did not take off, so runner. he will be forced out at second. Runner from first looked like he thought he thought he, he caught, caught it because yeah. he did get glove on it. But then when he came up out of the roll, it kind of bobbled out of his glove. So runner understandably confused, but he's easily forced out at second for an out. Runner does score from third, though, on the play. So one run across, one out, runner on first base, and the hitter is the center fielder, Moore. Starts off with a strike. Ground ball, third base, gets through Mendoza and into left field. So, one out, runners on first and second for San Antonio. And we've got a pinch hitter, number three. Lorenz comes in to hit for the left fielder, Coleman. First pitch called strike on the called strike fastball in the outside corner. Oh, looks at the nice pitch. So the fastball seemed to be right in there, but must have been a little inside or low. So one on one count. Next pitch looked to be in the same position, but called a strike this time, so we'll take it. One ball and two strikes to the pinch hitter, Lorenz. Runner still on first and second with one out. Next pitch is a breaking ball outside and into dirt. Kind of go to 2-2. Two -two. Tries to check his swing on the next pitch. Goes around, strike three. So that'll be two outs. Fourth strikeout of the night for Ritter. Next hitter, Beard. This is the first pitch called strike. Looks at another nice breaking ball. Sweeps the outside corner for called strike two. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Fastball catches him, swing and a miss. Strike three. So another set of back-to-back -back strikeouts for Ritter. Ends the inning, one run comes across. We head to the bottom of six. San Antonio Reagan 6, McNeil 1.
bottom of the sixth inning. Two, three, four spots coming up to bat for the Mavericks. Leadoff hitter, second baseman Ryan Bosick. One for two today. Swings at the first pitch and shoots it straight down to the dirt. So, 0 1 count to Bosick. He'll be followed by Chris Windesman and the first baseman Jackson Collins. Next pitch, fastball. Down and away, ball one. Next pitch swung on, sky high in the air, in foul territory. First baseman coming to get it, and he will make the play in foul territory for the first out. So one away brings up the center fielder Chris Windesman. One for two today with a single in the first inning. Takes a big swing at the first pitch and misses. Strike one. Swings and this pitch, kind of a check swing and just enough to get a line drive into center field and down for a base hit. So Windesman is aboard with a one-out single. Brings up the number four hitter, Jackson Collins. Collins looks at the first pitch, called strike. Pitch fastball misses up high. One on one count to Collins. Collins swings the next pitch, fouls it straight back into the screen. So one ball, two strikes. the one two pitch to Collins swung on fouled back and out of play next pitch is swung on and missed strike three Two outs here in the bottom of the sixth. Brings up the catcher Banks. Pitcher throws over to check the runner. Windesman at first base. Windesman is back safely. Throws over again. Throws also not in time. First pitch to Banks. Fastball misses high and outside. One ball, no strikes. Tries to stop himself from going around on that high fastball there, but unsuccessful. So, one ball to one strike to Banks. Chris Wynn has been your runner at first. Next pitch, high fastball inside, swung on a miss, strike two. One ball, two strikes to Banks, two outs. Fastball down in the dirt. 
Okay, I'll go to two and two. Next pitch is swung on a miss for strike three, and that will end the inning. So no runs, one hit for the Mavericks that inning. We head to the top of the seventh. Score still S.A. Reagan six, McNeil one. Top of the seventh inning, the last bats for San Antonio Reagan. Lead off hitter number 21, the catcher Aramis looks at the first pitch in there for a called strike. Checks the swing and holds off. McNeil's not going to appeal down to the first base umpire, so it'll be one ball and one strike. This pitch is swung on, popped up in foul territory. Jackson Collins, the first baseman underneath, and makes the grab for the first out. away here in the top of the seventh brings up the nine hole hitter first baseman Herrera struck out twice today and walked it's the first pitch fastball misses a little bit high ball one next pitch fastball in there catches the inside corner called strike one Pitch swung on and missed. Count goes to one ball and two strikes. Next pitch bracing, breaking ball misses outside low and in the dirt. So two balls and two strikes now to the number nine hitter Herrera. Pitch misses low and outside, so count will go full. Three balls, two strikes. One out in the top of seventh. Next pitch is swung on and missed for strike three. Sixth strikeout of the night for the pitcher Ritter. Two outs now, brings us back to the top of the order for San Antonio Reagan. 
leadoff hitter Bertram. Just the first pitch, called strike in the outside corner. Oh, next pitch fastball misses just a little bit down and away. Good pitch, but 1-1 one, one count. The fastball a little bit low. Two balls and one strike to the second baseman, Bertram. Next nice pitch swung on, grounded sharply, H kicks off the pitcher, Ritter. Good hustle, good hustle. Good hustle, that was a sharp ground ball right yeah. back to Ritter, kicked off of him, went over to the second baseman, Vosick, who fielded it off balance, tried to make a throw to first, but just not in time to catch the runner. So a hard hit infield single. single. And looks like we're going to have a pitching change here. Good job by Ritter. Six strikeouts. And our new pitcher is going to be number 14, the left-hander, Brandon Morio. So we'll let him get his warm-ups, and we'll be right back. All right, so with two outs in the top of the seventh, our new pitcher, Brandon Morio, the left-hander, is ready to go. And he will face the number two hitter, the shortstop, Tabor. With a runner on first base. First pitch is swung on. Kicks off the same thing as the last last yeah. Kicks That's off the pitcher. Another sharp ground ball hit directly off the leg of the pitcher Mori on the first pitch, mm. and he is limping around. Timeout on the field. The head coach for McNeil comes out to check on his pitcher. Check him out, but he's going to try to take a couple of pitches here from the mound. See if he can. I couldn't tell did that. Did that hit left leg or right leg? Or I'm not sure which leg he hit, but uh, whichever leg it did hit, it hit with some pretty good force. Yeah, yeah, it uh, definitely hurt. Seems to be throwing okay. 
I'm assuming we'll try to continue. Yep, it gives the okay. It's good to continue. So runners on first and second now. Two outs. Brings up the number three hitter, Ankrum. Swings the first pitch, pops it up. Shallow left field. Shortstop is out to make the play and makes the catch. So two quick pitches, one that goes off of his foot, and uh, Morio is out of the inning. So two hits but no runs. And that will be the end of the end of the at-bats for San Antonio Reagan tonight. Mavericks heading into the bottom of the seventh and their final at-bats. Score is six to one San Antonio. We'll be right back. All right, bottom of the seventh inning. Six, seven, eight hitters coming up for McNeil. Leadoff batter, left fielder Jack Goins. Was safe on a very good bunt. His first at bat last inning. We have a new pitcher for San Antonio Reagan. Number one, Bertram comes in. In relief for number 28, Greer. Bertram previously the second baseman. First pitch to Goins is fastball low and outside, ball one. Offers bunt at the second second pitch, pulls back though. Ball two. Two oh pitch. Fastball up high, but Goings offered a bunt at it, so it'll be two balls and one strike. Next pitch, a fastball misses high and inside. Goings pulls back his bunt, so three balls and one strike to the leadoff hitter, Goings. Goings thought that pitch was ball four, but umpire says it caught the outside corner. So three balls and two strikes. And three, two pitch catches the outside corner for called strike three. So one away for the Mavericks here in the bottom of the seventh. up the shortstop Sam Kubaney. Single was his last at bat. Looks at the first pitch, ball outside and low. Ground ball. 
Second base side, picked up, fielded by the second base and throws the first with the second out. So with two outs, we'll have a pinch hitter with 27, Lance Balius. In for the pitcher, Morio, hitting in the pitcher slot. He looks at the first pitch, called strike. Next pitch, fastball misses inside. So a one-on-one -on -one count to the pinch hitter, Balius. Looks another fastball. Called strike. So one and two count, two outs here in the bottom of the seventh. Looks at the next pitch, fastball, strike three, called on the outside corner. So that'll do it for this game. Final score SA Reagan six, McNeil Mavericks one. Thanks for listening along here on the live stream on Vipe.com. Mavericks are up again next here in uh, just about a half an hour. Their next opponent will be the Rouse Raiders here at Rouse Field. Thanks again for joining us. We'll be back in about 30 minutes with the start time of 8 o'clock here Central as the Mavs take on the Rouse Raiders.